Hi students, a very good evening to all of you. I am Professor Dr. Anurag Agarwal and this is OSN Academy of English since 1998. First of all, congratulations to all my students of TGT and PGT who have qualified from OSN Academy and they have joined in various college of Uttar Pradesh. Now, as we all know that GIC mains, LT and other examinations are also around the corner in the coming 2022. So I would always advise every student of OSN Academy who have not joined till now and the new students also who will be visiting the YouTube channel and they wish to excel in their future to make their careers in English literature. It is a one-stop destination students to get that quality education and my experience of 24 years. So once again students, I am going to start to take a session on the unit one that is drama with a different variety, with a you know with a different kind of content which is needed for the students for the 2022 examination. I always tell students that this UGC net examination keeps on changing its, its interface. So I always try to have interaction with the students and with the papers so that you may be able to get the best out of it students. So this is drama unit one and this session which will be very fruitful for the UGC net yes as well because this is UGC net drama unit one as well as for the IS aspirants who have the history of English literature as its background which starts from the period of renaissance then it is also needed for the GIC, PGT, LT, MA English entrance, PhD entrance, PCS and other examinations as well. So now students concentrate on this lecture and just give your comments if you like this class on drama and I am very much sure that once you like this you will be able to focus and download the application of OSN Academy from the play store and there are 14-15 verticals of English literature. Jobi vertical aapke career ke liye aapko suit karta hai you can join and you can even contact me with the phone numbers given on the screen. Fine. See, drama as it is written here. In drama students what happened that the fully developed British drama. Drama ka matlab hi hota hai as far as unit was is concerned which is known as the British drama students. British to be very precise. So the fully developed British drama had its forerunners where in the mystery, miracle, morality and interludes where the, the British drama had its forerunners in the noted down in the mystery, miracle, morality, and interlude all very very primitive types of dramatic entertainment but all of which played a very significant part in the establishment of the dramatic tradition in England though they may be very you know uh, you know primitive types but I am very sure about this thing that you must always be knowing and if you don't know you should know that these played a very very significant role in establishing the dramatic tradition in England from the middle ages till the arrival of Tudor dynasty till the arrival of Tudor kings the mystery students was a very very popular form of entertainment it was a very popular form of entertainment which owed its origin to the attempts of the church for what to preach the gospels of religion through some form of entertainment Yes, and in the mystery, the biblical stories, don't forget in the mystery, the biblical form of, you know, the entertainment, the biblical stories were very much dramatically presented between, you can say, the dramatic historians. Do not make any distinction between the mystery and the miracle and point out how these two names were ascribed to almost uh, same type of religious performance and students this term miracle was also very very popular in the middle ages and the miracle plays were dramatic representations what were their students dr they were 
dramatic representations and yes don't forget based on sacred history based on sacred history based on sacred history students or the legends of the christian saints legends of the christian saints we do not know whether these performances were the spontaneous expression of the dramatic instinct and were staged for their own sake or were taken merely as interludes between the church songs sung on the festival occasions and the miracle came to england from you know france and in the 14th century the popular miracles were regularly performed in the different towns but by the 15th centuries by the 16th centuries the miracles had attained their fullest development and to tell you something new a miracle was supervised by the corporation of a town and the acting was shared by the members of the different guilds of craftsmen guilds ki spelling hogi students g u i l d s guilds of craftsmen and they acted on a wheeled movable stage wo kis pe act karte the they acted on a wheeled jisme wheel lagi hoti thi and that stage used to move and each scene contained about a couple of 100 lines and one scene differed from another in what terms students in terms of meter in terms of rhetoric and yes these plays were performed at festival days a very remarkable feature of the miracle was its inclusion of the humorous elements which influenced the inclusion of comic by play and the comic episodes in the later romantic and the tragic play as far as the morality is concerned the morality was a popular as the miracle and its prevalence in england can also be traced back to the middle ages the morality plays were dramatic pieces in verse unlike the miracle the morality plays did not have themes which were centering around the biblical scenes but don't forget that on the other hand there were personified abstractions and what are these personified abstractions students aap koi bata sakte hain these personified abstractions were vices and virtues yes and the action of these plays were very simple and edifying the 15th century was the most glorious period for the morality plays and they developed side by side with the miracles so this session students would would give you much more development in your mind as far as drama is concerned and it was a very proud moment students when all india students they called me on the 1st of december after the examination and told me that sir the content which you have taught in the class was so amazing that they have got 60 plus questions 60% questions from the only class content which was also a very happy moment for me to tell to know about this fact from the students this is basically experience and that is why i always tell students to study the best because the content has to be very rich whether you go for any examinations now coming to back to the point there is still another variety of dramatic performances which was that of the interlude jo maine abhi mitar diya it was the interlude and the interlude basically came a little later than the morality which had a very strong influence which can be marked of the morality on the interlude and the, what are interludes you might be knowing for those students who are not knowing 
I will tell you that the interludes were short dramatic pieces. Short dramatic short dramatic pieces. There were short dramatic pieces, students, dealing with brief, brief episodes and evolving in a limited number of characters. We can compare them with the modern one act plays. We can compare them with the one act plays. Interludes were performed in the great baronial castles on very special occasions, usually to entertain the visiting dignitaries which used to come. And the tone of the interlude, the tone hota hai na, the tone of the interlude was generally, you know, secular. Through a few of them contained abstracted characters. And those abstracted characters, I will tell you, you must have even heard the name. Bahut bar exam mein bhi poochha jata hai. John Haywood, the most celebrated writer of interludes who substituted the human comedy of contemporary types for the allegory and instructive purpose of the morality. And his themes students were all, you know, the borrowed ones, sometimes from Chaucer, sometimes from the French partial stories. And with the passage of years students, passage of students, uh, he enjoyed the patronage of King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII. He enjoyed the patronage of King Henry VIII. And later on, Queen Mary. Later on, Queen Mary. This person, Haywood's plays, play of the weather. Play of the weather. Play of the weather. W E A T H E R. And yes, of course. The four P's, two of the best interludes, which actually shows his cleverness in creating very, very interesting and humorous dramatic situations. Now, what happened? I'll tell you. With the passage of years, variations were introduced in the morality as well as in the interlude. Religious political satire was introduced into the theme and John Skelton's, a new name has come now, John Skelton's, John Skelton's Magnificence, And Sir David Lindsley, David Lindsay's satire of the three estates, satire of the estates. John Skelton's Magnificence and Sir David Lindsley's Satire of the Three Estates are supposed to be the notable extent, E X T A N T, extent specimens of such plays. My dear students, now what happened that in some interludes, attempts were made to strike the new advances towards the comic drama. And all told, these forms actually kept alive the comic tradition. Comic tradition ko inho ne alive rakha and introduced a new dramatic purpose by a progressive advance towards the realism 
and advance towards seriousness. Yes. So, when this happened, the advance towards the realism and the seriousness happened, they also stimulated. They also stimulated the popular taste and paved Rasta Banaya, the ground for the better types to come. And the actors until the days of Shakespeare, however, did not enjoy any social status. So what they did, they had to thus seek the patronage of the nobility. Unko nobility ki patronage leni parti thi, and the companies and group of actors were formed each styling itself as the company of some great lord or some member of the court. So these actors were often moved from town to town, from you know town to town and performing uh, you know before the uh, provincial audiences, keeping alive the popularity of the age old dramatic forms in the whole length and the breadth of the land. Now what happened in this uh, unit that is drama, I am trying to uh, make you understand very pinpointed net eccentric and exam eccentric details so that you may have a great command over the subject. By the middle of the 16th century students, the situation was very much ripe for a bold advance towards the full fledged dramatic pieces. By this time already, you know, the renaissance had stimulated the people's taste in the comic plays of ancient Rome. Uh, yes, uh, the comedies of Platus, P-L-A-U-T-U-S, the comedies of Platus. The famous Roman dramatist had become so popular in the learned circles and the tendency was already afoot for the creation of comic plays in the English and the model of the Plotus. One more thing I have to tell you here that it is very much interesting to note in this connection that the comedy of errors, one of the earliest of Shakespeare's comic plays in an adaptation of the comedy uh, that is uh, Menachemy by Plotus. So students, next is that the first full length comic play in English. It came, yes, you might be knowing, in the year 1553. And what is the name of that first full length comic play students? Ralph Royster Doister. Ralph Royster Doister, 1553 by Nicholas, Nicholas Odal. This is the first full length comic play students. And this play by Nicholas Udall, and who is Nicholas Udall students? You should also know this thing. He was a Latin scholar and also a former headmaster of the Eton school. former headmaster of the Eton school. This play Ralph Royster Doister was performed by the boys of the Westminster school. Westminster school WMS. This was performed by the boys of the Westminster School. And the play Ralph Royster Doister shows similarity to the comedies of Plotus. It shows the uh, similarity to the comedies of Plotus and also the comedies of Terence, who is one of the other famous Roman comic dramatist of the past. Yet, we can be sure about thing that it breathes the British spirit 
through its story and through its characterization. Now, because we are nurturing you students with this unit one drama, which is, we can say the background of English literature, which is important for every aspirant of English literature student for any examination. Now here, apart from this Ralph Roister Doster, another comic play of the period was Gammer Gertin's Needle. I am teaching you from the very basic of it, so that the new students who are getting into various competitions, they may understand the quality and the in-depth study time to time. So another comic play of the period was Gammer Gertens Needle. Gammer Gertens Needle. Though many might of you might be knowing. And suppose if somebody asked you who has written this play. So this is not known. Unknown writer. Kahin pe aapko dik jaye Mr. S. Master of Arts. Aise karke kahin dik jaye. वैसे तो इसमें आता है ऐसे। It is written by an unknown writer। लेकिन कभी आपको दिख जाए that Mr. S. Master of Arts, तो समझ जाएगा कि इस यही unknown writer है जिसका नाम नहीं पता है। And this was also very popular for the amusement it provided to the audience। Why it became very popular, students? Because of the amusement it has provided to the bigger a larger number of audience. Ab hum aage barte hai students. Chaliye ab aagaya kuch saal baad. Few years later, if we talk about 1561 to 1562, for example, came the first full length British tragic uh, play, The Tragedy of Gorbodok. The full length tragic play. But don't forget, it is written by two writers. These are things which has to be taught in the classroom, which I have been teaching in my classes past 24 years, whether it is offline or online. And that is why our students are very comfortable because they know the basic and the entire detailing of what is to be asked in the various examinations. Though many might of you might be knowing, but it is for the new students who are coming to the platform to understand where to study various examinations. So OSN Academy is a, is a platform where under my guidance, lakhs of students have made their career in the past 24 years. So students, you have to analyze that if you want quality education, you have to see the YouTube channel of OSN Academy, you see the application, you talk to me and if you feel that yes, this is in originality enriching for you to make you something in the field of English literature, then you should bank upon my classes. So a few years later in 1561 or 62, if you talk about the tragedy of Gorbodok, the first full length tragic play written by two writers and who are these two writers? Thomas Sackville. Thomas, Thomas Sackville, who, यहाँ पे एक चीज और बता दें, exam centric, जो बाद में he became the Earl of Dorset, बाद में क्या बन गया वो? Earl of, he became the Earl of Dorset, and the second writer was Thomas Norton. And this play uh, was presented by the young law students of the inner temple. Kisne kiya? Uh, the young law students of the inner temple, one of the inns of court to Queen, <coughs> Queen Anne. 
Queen, uh, you can say uh, Elizabeth, yes. So, as in the first English comedy, the Roman influence was clearly manifest, so in Gorbodok, the influence of the Roman tragic dramatic dramatis Seneca was clearly to be recognized. यहाँ पे किसको हम recognize करते हैं? Seneca को if we talk about Gorbodok. And this play was first acted in the hall of the inner temple. Hall of the inner temple. This is important students. Hall of the inner temple. जहाँ पे पहली बार एक्ट हुआ है. And the theme, the theme of the play centers around some British legendary characters and a political rivalry leads to insurrection in the kingdom and a series of murders makes the situation very tense. But there is however no action on the stage. The events are simply narrated in blank words. This is also important students. This question bhi aa chuka hai. Ki this play is written in blank words, this, this, this. So, if you know, then you will remember that sir told you that the events in this play are narrated in blank words and the popularity of Gorbodok influenced the writers of the time to write similar, similar tragic plays on the cynical model. Thus, before the arrival of Marlowe, jab tak Marlowe platform pe nahi aaya tha, stage pe nahi aaya tha, the stage was all set for the original tragic plays which are free from the slavish limitations of the cynical models. For example, Marlowe's Tamburlaine, published in 1587, and you must be knowing it was actually an epoch making play because it brought to the popular drama true poetry and genuine passion. But this play and the successors established a new type of tragedy and Marlowe made no effort to retain the structure and the themes of the classical tragedy on the contrary. He made his plays loosely connected series of the scenes dealing with the life and the death of the hero, crowded with persons and with a startling action. Or as a karneme students, he was conforming to the method of the dramatic narratives that pleased the theater, which theater ko please kar raha tha. But each play centers its dramatic interest on a mighty protagonist battling with his overwhelming desires and their inevitable disappointments. So, we can say that with the spectacle, with the sensation, with the absurdity, there is also dramatic structure, there is also tragic significance in the revelation of these protagonists. Their struggles, their, uh, there is a word known as catastrophe. And these plays set the key for the Elizabethan tragedy, including uh, Shakespeare's King Lear, Shakespeare's Othello, and yes, undoubtedly Macbeth. And now, my dear students, they were also immediately followed by a dozen of imitators. All the blank words echoed Marlowe's mighty lines, and the tragedy was filled with conquerors like Tamburlaine, like uh, Barabbas, like the Edward II uh, and Shakespeare was his pupil in the second and the third Henry IV, second, third and Henry IV. He mastered his methods in Richard II, Rich, sorry, Richard III and the Merchant of Venice, undoubtedly. So, there is a lot students which has to be read as far as the, you know, uh, drama is concerned, as I have just tried to make you understand that 
those students who wish to be uh, performing their best in the in the world of literature they have just to download the application from the google play store osn academy and they will be they will be amazed to see a platform like osn which has 14 15 verticals of english literature covering the pan india examinations with its syllabus with its classes with its proper system with its proper pdfs test series and my particular personal guidance grooming so i am sure students you must have loved this session and i hope that you will like subscribe the channel as well as you will comment on the box so that what next you need from dr agarwal thank you so much and i hope you would have liked the session take care